residential communities. Again, the same number of houses, same you know percentages for us. It's just we're allowed to have larger open space areas for the community. In return, we have smaller streets and don't have to put the infrastructure <coughs> that we normally have to. Uh, That's what they characterize as clustering from what I've. My question is, is what would the absence of curb and gutter give to the overall effect of the community? What does it? Yeah, the absence of curb and gutter it, with respect to stormwater drainage. What's your options? Well, you would you have rain gardens? And rain gardens and stormwater swales and mm -hmm. things like that. Which I mean, you're, you're perking more than <coughs> you're pushing the water. Right. But that's fine. We, and we've had one development come with that kind of a but it wasn't well thought out. So the problem with the rain gardens and all of that is that it's got to be something that's designed by professionals who actually know what they're doing and how they're doing it. Oh, until, until now, we've not seen that. Yeah. 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 It's unattractive. It's weeds. It's a weed. Right. And you can make a lot of Well, if nothing else, but if you have people who maintain it. Because it's a collective effort. It's just, but in terms of, I mean, if you look at public works, we don't have people are not adding staff to maintain those areas. But quite frankly, if it's we don't have staff, it's supposed to be self-maintaining, yeah. but that's not necessarily the way it works. If you don't have as much pervious pavements and stuff that's collecting the water, it's pushing the water, you're putting more of it in the green areas where it's perking. But you would still have to be held by that 24 foot, even if it's without curb and gutter. Yeah. Standard, <clears throat> you can't have streets any narrower than that for our brave water issue. I'll tell you what, as far as phone calls, water issues, problems with water issues, the number one call we get is city council and people with their basements. Collection basements. The number one calls we get, yeah. Bomb craters. <clears throat> yeah, the biggest thing. Okay, uh, we're ready to move on to building orientation. I mean, is it, mm -hmm. I understand what you're, what you're saying. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I'm not. Are you, are you saying it's not saying anything? It's not saying anything, in my opinion. The reason I'm going to draw. Here's the spray. Let me see. Here's the spray. <laughs> Where's your. Oh, yeah. Patch yeah. marker. Here's the spray. 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 Here's the it, it, it has you a lot have, in there. You have townhomes. And then you have open space over here. It's the same thing they're going to do no matter what. You're, you're going to have. They're not, but that's not doing A, B, or C. Which one of these do you think it's doing? That's A. You think no. that's A? That was a cluster. That's not A. Yeah. Well, where's your. Show your parcel line. Show your, your development boundary. How is that clustered? You got green space here. You got an open area here, a detention basin, if you will, bike trails, bike trails here, bike trails there. Well, I can make an argument that that's not necessarily bad. As a person who, were, who is living in one of those units, I personally would like to have green space around my unit. Sure. I would want to look out my window and see some grass. You know, it's nice to have common shared areas, but if a developer wants to come in and wants every unit to have green space and to be well spaced, I think that's a design that, almost that we're okay seated. with too. Yeah. Huh? Kind of the well, it's, it's a well, no, because they're the same lot sizes you're going to have no matter what. You're doing primary you're, printer. Yeah, you're going all the way around it. It's going to be green no space here. That's safe. 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 That's that one up here is safe. Well, it's not really true. Factor. But no, we're not clustering. What well, I'm saying is you stay, still got the same lot sizes that you're going to have with the cluster and without them. So, they're gonna, so you're going to do green space is going to be all the way around the perimeter of uh, the unit anyways on townhomes. That's what's the clustering. So, it's, so everything's maintained the same. See, and I don't have a problem with this as being one of the choices. Yeah. That doesn't bother me if, because some right. people and, and want that. I mean, that's something that I would want. I would I, want to have grip a chick that, shared on the green space. You know, to me, that, that's what I envision by cluster. Yeah. That's not necessarily different than what you're saying. No, not really. Okay. You just have it to the well, right instead of the middle. It's like the, the uh, Thank you, Scott. Picture I'm looking at the world. It might be just my interpretation. My interpretation is smaller lot lines, yeah. cluster. Yeah. 
But well, I, I can see that's where what you had there can right. almost be defined as cities. That's yeah. just yeah. A, and I think that's, that's we're given that as an option and a choice. You might. I was trying to no matter what. Yeah, better <laughs> it's going I mean, to clarify that if you have some visual illustration. You know what? That's a good idea. If we could have an illustration of. Oh, sure. I oh, think the picture is always over there. Yeah. Illustrate. Okay. Illustrate. We like pretty pictures. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why I started making all of them. I'm okay with that. Right. Illustrate clustering, oh. the greenways. And what was the other one? C. C is the arrangement of mag extending closed and closed open space. Kind of what Michael did on here. More what Scott had on his field. Okay. Okay. Building orientation to streets. You can tell I'm trying to get through this today. I'm getting ready to do that. I don't walk through my house. Look at that. Okay. Building orientation to streets. A sense of neighborhood should be created, which includes buildings sited with front entrances and porches oriented towards streets, drives, plazas, rather than clustered around parking lots. I think that stands to reason for everyone. As a resident porch sitter, I am way in favor of porches. Um, building orientation to street edges. Can I see my copy actually real quick? I, I did add in. You're saying over here, including okay. perpendicular and canted. What's canted? <clears throat> a little, little off center, a little off plumb. Canted. Where am I looking at canted here? Under A, two A. Two A. We definitely need a picture of canted. <laughs> Do you know what that was, Michael? Well, it's the. Yeah. The, okay. Okay. Here's. Not in that. I grew up in well, Flagstaff. Was <laughs> we all know what perpendicular is. Yeah, I think it's just in Canterbury. is the. Yeah. Which is bad, bad, bad. You know, like Canterbury streets like that. <clears throat> Why don't you want Canterbury streets? Because you are in a car here which is me always in the morning and on my way to university five minutes late. I'm right here and I'm trying to take a right hand turn. Traffic's moving this way. Means to turn it <coughs> greater than 90 degrees to try and see if you're going to get hit by a giant truck or not. So it's bad. You're going to have to trust me on this or visit Flagstaff, Arizona. But that is a Cantor Street. Do we have Cantor Street in those places? Where are we have We have one over by Roberts Nursery, um, oh. going across 40 Highway. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is a. All right, now I know what a Cantor. Okay. Um, yeah, that guy right. came to the council meeting the other night. Remember that? Yeah. I was talking about that. But I didn't say it was a Cantor Street. Now <laughs> I can say mm -hmm. I know what that is. It's yeah, like that is a Cantor Street. It's like is it right there? Yeah. It's like well, I'm trying to think not Blue Springs. I can think of some. I know when you're getting off 35 yeah. South, getting off on Lamar. Yeah. I want to say more, but that's not right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Truman, then, was it 78? Oh, yeah. Highway. That's horrible. I'm trying to think of Blue Springs. Okay. Every bad street you've ever come across is usually there. Okay. Yeah. Just curious what that was. Now I've learned something. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay. So, where were we? Where were we? That's Cantor. That's Cantor. Here we go. Or intervening open spaces should be provided to lessen the mass of buildings along the street. <coughs> Multiple buildings may parallel up to a public street if the building entrances <coughs> faces the perimeter street. The individual building length along the street frontage is a maximum of 125 feet. And common open space is centrally located in the interior of the site and accessible by all units. Make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Orientation to interior property lines. 
Along interior or non-street edge property lines, multifamily shall be oriented in a more perpendicular rather than a parallel